was certainly horrified by what I saw on Thursday night, but as uh, the dust settles and I'm reflecting on it, I think uh, it, I am proud of the way the University of Oregon handled it. Chip Kelly, particularly if you saw his press conference, I mean, that's a gentleman of character, the whole leadership of the university, I thought, really stepped up and, and sent a message in the clearest possible way about the values that institution stands for and uh, what the conference stands for. So I think if there's any positive that comes of it, it was a chance to reaffirm the important values of, uh, of sportsmanship and that there's a zero tolerance policy for that type of behavior. Is that a concern right now, the issue of sportsmanship? I think nationally there's been an initiative. I mean, let me put everything in perspective. I've been on the job eight weeks, so I'm not your best source for sort of a historical perspective. But clearly there is an initiative going on nationally to emphasize sportsmanship and respect. That's the genesis of the handshake that took place uh, out here today and is taking place all across the country. Uh, this week to emphasize uh, respect, sportsmanship, and you know, there's some higher principles and values beyond winning that are important in college football. Um, so uh, in that context, I think what the university decided to do is particularly important. Were there discussions within the conference about you acting if you had felt that Oregon's response was not yeah. appropriate? Yeah, we, um, it was my first time going through it, but we went through a parallel process. Uh, I was actually in the uh, box with Mike Bellotti, the AD of Oregon, when it happened. I was in his athletic Ten yards on the carry. Um, so immediately when I saw it happen, I knew there was a, a situation that was going to require the conference's attention and the school's attention. We talked a little bit about it uh, that night, agreed that we would touch base the next day. I got back to the office. Uh, had been touching base with people around the country to try to get some yeah, background on any precedent, the any similar situations that had happened before. Um, he and I talked throughout the day. I spoke with the president uh, of the university uh, during the day, met with my team back at our office. Just we basically went ball. down parallel down paths, um, but uh, you know, the university and Chip Kelly made the decision about their uh, penalty. Uh, they did it you know, in consultation with us. They were aware of my views uh, about it, and I was able to come right out and talk to them. I was 100% supportive of their decision. Sorry, um, and had, had the sentence been um, more lenient than you would have liked, were you in a position then to add or, or make, make it more? Yes, the, yeah, the conference always retains the right to invoke penalties if they uh, think appropriate. Okay. Any uh, place in your heart to think, you know, this was a, more of a crime of passion than premeditated. I know that he melted down for several minutes afterward, but the student athletes get in Patrick bar Perry fights, the ball you know, every Spartan. weekend, and it just seemed, I don't know, it's, it's a, particularly for a kid, a Juco transfer, who's now finished, and you're, you're talking about his career and his life. Did, People reflect on all of this. Yeah. Well, I think the university is obviously very close to that individual. If you heard what Chip Kelly said uh, as his coach, I think there was a John lot of Harris humanity tackle. and a lot of uh, compassion, a lot 12. of concern for the welfare of the student athlete that went into that decision. By, by allowing him to keep his scholarship at least. Any sense that, that there had to be a, a pretty strong action given that this occurred on national television on a night when it was the only game uh, going at that time? I don't think that factored in to, to it. I don't uh, certainly didn't factor into uh, my, my calculus. Um, I can't really speak for the, the university. Um, yeah, it was obviously uh, three yards. It wasn't a close call. I mean, it just obviously crossed the line. And as was mentioned, it wasn't just the altercation with the uh, player from the other team, it was uh, you know, what happened afterward under police escort, it was what happened with the fans, I mean, there were a few different dimensions to it. Which it's, act was more egregious in your mind? I think the whole thing was looked at in totality. Does this raise any issues that the conference might look at addressing in terms of sportsmanship in the coming months or over next season? Well, as I said, there's you know, uh, not familiar with all the initiatives that are going on yet, you know, eight weeks into this, but I know it is a high priority to reinforce, and that's why nationally, you know, this weekend of respect has been kicked off. Uh, what was important to me as a new commissioner is to send a very clear statement about how the conference office is going to look at sportsmanship. Um, and yeah, I think that was done with uh, with the penalty that was meted out. I Nine think uh, hopefully it leaves no doubt in anyone's mind about how the conference is also going to look at these things.
Spartans down the front at the 26. Draw the you out on, uh, you know, just it, it certainly wasn't a very smart play to act on the part of defensive player taunted. Uh, would you agree with that? Do you, know, do you agree with the fact that he was he's not being disciplined? It takes two to tango. And um, I uh, you know was concerned of, about what I heard the Boise State coach say uh, about how it was going to be handled. So I called the commissioner of the WAC, my peer at the Western Athletic Conference, and I asked them to look into it from a conference level. Let's just leave it at that. I'm not going to comment or second guess anything that their conference decides to do, but I did let them know how seriously we were looking at LeGarrette Blunt and um, this, the message that was going to be sent. And I uh, told him I'd expect he'd look at it from a conference level as well. He assured me he would, and I told him to leave it at that. He wasn't going to hear from me again about it. Short of, or of physical acts, I mean, you think taunting is a problem? Um, again, I, don't, I, don't, I haven't seen enough of it to really give you an, on, an honest, educated answer about whether as a trend it's a problem First or not. First and ten for the Trojans. Thanks very much.